Namaste friends. So today we are going to understand concept of electrical admittance. Now before understanding the concept of electrical admittance, let's understand what are the basic components in the electrical engineering and what is impedance. So as we know R, L and C are three basic components where resistance is opposition to the flow of current. Reactance is of two types, inductive reactance and capacitive reactance. Inductive reactance opposes change in current, whereas capacitive reactance opposes change in voltage. Now combination of all these three is called as impedance. So impedance is the effective resistance of electrical circuit or component to alternating current. The combination of resistance and reactance is called as impedance. So mathematically Z is equal to R plus J XL minus XC or Z is equal to R plus or minus J X is called as impedance. So all the three parameters are measured in ohms. R is resistance, XL is inductive reactance that is omega L and XC is capacitive reactance that is 1 upon omega C or 1 upon 2 pi FC. Now once we have understood the impedance, let's know about impedance triangle. So impedance triangle is a right angle triangle which whose base is resistance, whose height is reactance and whose hypotenuse is impedance. The phi is angle between R and Z. Now this basic knowledge of impedance will help us to understand what is admittance. So admittance is nothing but reciprocal of impedance. The way we define conductance as a reciprocal of resistance in case of DC circuits. In same way in case of AC circuits, admittance is defined as reciprocal of impedance. Many times they ask definition, define admittance and state its component. So once we know the definition, we should write that is admittance is combination of conductance and susceptance. Now these words are a bit tedious to pronounce but you need to remember and keep this in your mind. Admittance is reciprocal of impedance and it is combination of conductance and susceptance. So mathematically admittance is given as Y which is equal to G minus plus GB. Okay, where G is conductance and D is susceptance. The way we are having two types of reactants that is inductive reactants and capacitive reactants in same way there are two types of susceptance inductive susceptance and capacitive susceptance. So overall susceptance B is BL minus BC where BL is inductive susceptance and BC is capacitive susceptance. Now why is admittance in Mo or Siemens and its unit is Ohm inverse. So there are three possible units of admittance. Okay, admittance Y is measured in Mo or Siemens or Ohm inverse. G is conductance, B is inductive susceptance, and BC is capacitive susceptance, as I told you earlier. So if they ask you to define admittance and state its various factors, that you need to write all the contents which we have noted right now. Now let's understand derivation for relationship between admittance, conductance and susceptance. Now we know that admittance is defined as reciprocal of impedance. So we can write y is equal to 1 by z. Now z is r plus or minus jx. So further we can write y is equal to 1 divided by r plus minus jx. So by rationalizing this term we need to multiply numerator and denominator by R minus plus Jx. So we can write rationalizing we can get Y is equal to 1 divided by R plus minus Jx multiplied by I R minus plus Jx divided by R minus plus Jx. So ultimately we get Y is equal to R minus plus Jx divided by R square plus X square. The denominator terms are R minus plus Jx and R plus minus Jx. 
सो प्लस माइनस इंटू माइनस प्लस विल बिकम माइनस बट जे स्क्वेर इंटू जे स्क्वेर इज माइनस वन सो अगेन दैट माइनस माइनस विल बिकम प्लस एंड हेन्स डिनोमिनेटर इज आर स्क्वेर प्लस एक्स स्क्वेर ओके सो वाई इज एडमिटन्स विच इज इक्वल टू आर माइनस प्लस जे एक्स डिवाइडेड बाय आर स्क्वेर प्लस एक्स स्क्वेर वेर आर स्क्वेर प्लस एक्स स्क्वेर इज झेड स्क्वेर देर फोर वाई इज इक्वल टू आर बाय झेड स्क्वेर माइनस प्लस जे एक्स बाय झेड स्क्वेर ओके हियर समाउ जे इज नॉट प्रेजेंट आई थिंक इट शुड बी देर जे शुड बी देर so y is ultimately g minus plus jb where g is conductance and b is susceptance so if you remember equation of impedance it was z is equal to r plus minus jx here it is opposite it is y is equal to g minus plus jb so impedance ke case mein it is plus minus and in case of admittance it is minus plus you need to keep this in mind so this is rectangular form if you write it in polar form then y is modulus of y at the angle phi where modulus of y is g square plus b square whole square root and phi is tan inverse of b by g hmm? so ultimately at the end of the derivation you need to write y is admittance g is r by z square is conductance and b is x by z square is susceptance All the quantities are measured in mo or Siemens or Ohm inverse. Now here, if you remember, generalized definition of conductance is reciprocal of resistance, but it is for DC circuits. Okay, for AC circuits, it is R by Z square. For DC circuit, if you consider Z is equal to R, therefore G will be equal to R divided by R square, and hence we write G is equal to one by R. in case of dc circuits but in case of ac circuits g is equal to r by z square so i hope you have understood if they ask you derivation for relationship between admittance conductance and susceptance then you need to start with the basics that is y is equal to 1 by z that is y is equal to 1 upon r plus minus jx you need to rationalize once you rationalize you will get y is equal to R by Z square minus plus J X by Z square. That is Y is equal to G minus plus J B, where G is conductance and B is susceptance. As simple as that. Okay. So this is what is applicable for parallel AC circuit. So this is main important component to study in case of parallel AC circuit. Now let's understand what is admittance triangle. earlier we have understood what is impedance triangle now let's understand what is admittance triangle so they may ask you two types of admittance triangle that is admittance triangle for rl series circuit and admittance triangle for rc series circuit now anyhow both of the admittance triangles are right angle triangles their components are conductance along base susceptance along height and admittance along hypotenuse for both you can see but from the type of the circuit their orientation changes if you remember impedance triangle for rs series circuit then it looks like this first quadrant triangle okay but here admittance triangle for rl series circuit is in fourth quadrant because there is change of sign always keep in mind z is equal to r Plus minus J X, whereas Y is equal to G minus plus J B. So signs are opposite, and hence their triangles are opposite. R L series circuit impedance triangle and R L series circuit admittance triangle are completely opposite to each other. Keep this in mind. So you need to know these two admittance triangle. They may ask you. draw admittance triangle for rl series circuit or for rc series circuit okay so as you can see g dl and y form admittance triangle for rl series circuit uh, I, i won't say series actually it is parallel circuit i'm really very sorry okay and admittance triangle for rc circuit look like this 
that is G, D, C, and Y. So I hope you have understood concept of the admittance and also admittance triangle. I request all of you to note the points in your notebook and I thank all of you for watching this video completely. I request you to subscribe to the channel, like the video and share the video with your friends so that they will also understand basic fundamental concepts of electrical engineering. Also, you can follow me on Instagram. My handle is pvj underscore tasveerwala. You may WhatsApp me if you are having any queries related to any topic of basic electrical engineering. And you may also follow me on Facebook. So stay tuned for the next video and note the contents of the video into the notebook. If any doubt is there, feel free to comment or directly.